Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the RX 560 in Rust this time around in 2021. This one is the 4GB model of the card, as you can see right there, running it with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigs of RAM, which is completely insane to pair with an RX 560. But you only need something like a Ryzen 3 1200 to not bottleneck this card and end up getting the same FPS. We're also running the latest AMD drivers, Adrenaline 2020 2.2. And let's get into this beautiful game, shall we? Okay, so we've actually gotten a ton of stuff, guys, uh, in this game, okay? So it's, it's like, kind of insane. <laughs> Look at this. I'm gonna get out of here now because we are inside and we're getting a lot of FPS. I don't think we should be getting these FPS. Anyways, I almost forgot to show you the settings. I'm playing at 1080p resolution. I'm not sure if we're gonna test lower resolutions or lower settings yet. Depends on how this performs. I'm playing with my custom settings or like th these are very, very good looking and still provide you with a lot of FPS compared to like ultra settings, for example, or everything maxed out. Over here we're using FXAA, anti-aliasing, ambient occlusion and sun shafts and and over on the experimental tab, everything is turned off. So let's get out of here and uh, actually wreck some noobs, shall we? <laughs> I'm not even gonna start counting our FPS just yet because inside of caves, we always get a lot more frames than outside. It's not this way. <clears throat> Fun story, we actually didn't build this base where we are right now. Uh, we have like a couple of more bases around the map, uh, but this one was given to us. I met some Portuguese guys in this server and they didn't want to play it anymore, so uh, until the next wipe that is. So they gave this, all of this crap to us, you know? It was amazing, very nice. Anyways, let's start counting our frames here. As you can see, the graphics are looking beautiful, in my opinion. That's why I choose these settings to play this game with, because it's, it's a good balance, just a really good balance between visuals and performance. And as you can see, the 560 can actually play it at these settings absolutely fine. I think we're also gonna test like uh, medium or low to medium settings. These are like uh, medium to high. But yeah, it's running incredibly well. I'm not really sure what I'm doing right now because uh, th there's nothing to do. We have everything. <laughs> I'm just, just gonna look for people to kill, I guess. <laughs> Should have rocked some rockets, you know. By the way, 1% lows are gonna drop because whenever you tab into the inventory system, it drops, uh, as you can see there. But whenever you are actually playing the game, it should be absolutely fine. We're gonna go to our uh, second base, actually, right now. Let me see if everything is still up and running. And you know what, guys? If you have a 1080p monitor, I think I will totally play like this, you know, I, I always say that you don't need 60 FPS to play this game properly, it's not a fast paced game, even when you're fighting other people, you kind of take your time to line up those headshots and stuff like that, so unless you're really really good and like me, <laughs> but I think around 40 FPS on average is pretty damn good for this game. As I usually say in my Rust videos, I played this game a lot back in like 2014, uh, just like I'm playing it right now like you know i spent the entire day off uh, in this game you know i i usually don't post videos in mondays because i am just resting and stuff but i spent the entire day playing rust which is kind of insane you know i don't usually do this with any game but it's just it's this game is awesome oh 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 somebody's here what no oh there's a guy right there okay Hello? Hello? How are you doing? Hello, hello. All good? You, you just Who started? Come with me, come with me. I'll give you a weapon. Okay, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Just chill, just chill, just chill. I'm friendly, I'm friendly, friendly. Okay, okay. No, don't, no. No, I'm with Akrox. I'm with Akrox. Don't kill, don't kill, don't kill. Okay, okay, okay. Look at them right there. I think I'm gonna get stabbed from behind, guys. Maybe. Oh, look at him. Put the weapon away, bro. Put the weapon away. Okay, okay. All good, all Was good. Aiming at the bear. Uh, Are we allowed in? Crouch yet once if yes. No. No, don't let us in. We might raid I you. just they noticed I wasn't speaking in, so to them. <laughs> <laughs> Not just kidding, I'm gonna help them, okay? I'm gonna give them a weapon. Over there, over there. 
Kill Kevin. Oh, thank you, thank you. That was very nice. Really thank nice. you, thank you, thank you. In terms of FPS, this is pretty playable. I I will totally play like this. For some reason, my microphone doesn't really work in Rust, uh, which is kind of a shame. And I think it's time now to change our settings because uh, th this is enough. We're, we've been playing it for 18 minutes at 1080p using the optimal settings for, for this game, I will say. So let's just drop the resolution, actually. Oh, I can't do 900, but that's quite a shame. That's because of the capture card so now we're gonna do like medium settings i disabled these shadow quality things but the shadow distance is still at 400 and something there at the middle almost and these are all set to 50 over on the image effects i left it like this but we might actually drop the ambient occlusion because it's very very intensive in this game uh wow okay so as you can see we gained a ton of fps maybe like 10 to 15 i think i'm gonna start counting the frames now and it's getting night time, but the nights are very, very short in this server, which is great. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're just gonna roll with this. So this is still not enough for us to get 60 FPS on average. It still drops into the 40s near vegetation, which is pretty intensive in this game, as usual. Yeah, this definitely feels a little bit smoother, and it shouldn't really drop into the 30s that often now, uh, unless you tab into the inventory, of course, as you can see there. <laughs> it's just, yeah, they, they should probably work on that a little bit. But I think I'd still... Oh, God, my internet. <laughs> I think I would still play this uh, at the higher settings. Because it just looks really, really gorgeous at those settings, guys. I'm hearing a ton of steps. I think it's just uh, some boars just bugged out, maybe. Yeah, there's one of them right there. What? What? Are you serious? Do you really want to do... Oh, my God. I might die because of the, the ping. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go this way because there's a big forest right there. And uh, I'm going to show you the FPS there because it's like the most intensive area. You know, usually forest areas are very, very intensive. And as you can see, it's dropping into the 40s once again. Uh, yeah, so this is still not that 60 FPS average experience that uh, you guys might be looking for. But... But it's certainly not too bad and for a 560 you know it's it's pretty good one of my friends that plays this game with me has a GTX 950M laptop and is struggling a lot he has to play at lowest settings uh, just to have a playable experience and on lowest settings this game really does look like crap uh, which is great you know low settings should look like crap in my opinion and perform really well anyways 55 FPS average not bad at all let's disable ambient occlusion and sun shafts right here and see if that makes uh, for a 60 fps experience so it still drops as you can see it's, oh boy all right we still have to drop a few more settings i'm gonna disable fxaa which shouldn't really do much uh Let's set it to like around 25 over here. So these are these are low settings. I, I think these are low settings. Not minimum settings, but these are pretty low for Rust. So, uh, okay, it still drops. You know, it still drops in forest areas. So, you know what? You might want to play at 900p. I just can't test it because for some reason the capture card's not having it at 900p. But I will test it. Maybe other day, I don't know. If you guys really, really want another video in Rust with the 560, yeah, I can make that happen. I really love this game, if you haven't noticed. But <laughs> what if I set the graphics quality, the overall quality to one or zero, actually? Okay, yeah, it, it starts looking really bad, as you can see. But is it enough for 60 plus? Uh, no, okay, so it still drops. Maybe if I drop everything to the minimum, minimum settings. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't play like this, okay? And it's still not enough. So you really gotta drop the resolution for that 60 plus FPS experience all of the time. So in that case you know i just i just wouldn't play like this it's not worth it guys this kind of like gt710 settings you know you will actually get a playable experience at 720p with a 710 using these graphics settings uh, it will get around like 30 fps i believe so it's not too bad for a card like that obviously but you know a 560 
you should you should play with higher setting oh god this is it's probably a bot uh just gonna heal myself now i should probably go you know <laughs> should probably get to my base now especially because we might not be able to spot people at the distance because this this just looks like crap guys oh my gosh look at those vomit flying trees it's it's yeah it's bad okay and mostly it's actually like above 60 fps most of the time i didn't count our frames just because i don't think you should play like this but if you really really want to uh, you have the option you know you have the option so i guess that's been it i've actually raided that base yesterday so uh yeah there's not much to do right now because near our uh base we actually raided a ton of stuff yesterday uh, that's how you, we got a ton of stuff as well and there's a guy sleeping right here and he he he's just new to the game but you know what this is rust and i haven't killed anybody yet and i have actually helped people which is kind of weird so there we go <laughs> first kill of the day thank you very much for watching this video guys hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already I'll catch you guys in the next one very soon and as always love you all Bye bye